I was really happy in PE. And I feel like in PE, it didn't matter if you was a girl or a guy, we all used to play together. And I was really good at sports. But in sports, I was never judged. It was like, I want her on my team because she's the best. Even the girls thought I was wicked. So it was like I was praised and no one was judging. My name's Paige Keiki. I'm from East London, Hackney. I'm a rapper. I'm a, I like to say musician. Um, I'm an actress and an influencer. You might have seen me in Waterloo Road, Attack the Block, or you might have just heard me on Spotify, or you might have just seen me walking down the street. I don't actually have a coming out story. I was living my life in denial. My mum once said to me, are you a lesbian? And I was like, no, I'm not a lesbian. I was just like living a life knowing I like girls, but not, not feeling like I could tell anybody. So I would literally deny it. And then one day, I got with my third girlfriend. So this, this is my third, not my first or second, my third. And then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna tell my family. So I just texted my family on WhatsApp. I literally said, oh, mum, bearing in mind, my family had met my girlfriend. I was like, oh, this is my girlfriend. I sent a picture of both of us. And I just left it at that. And then I just kind of turned my phone over. And then all my family just reacted like, oh, we knew it. Oh, so that's your girlfriend. She was lovely when we met her. And yeah, everyone was just really cool about it. So I just felt like, why was I hiding it? I was actually very lucky that the secondary school that I went to, they taught us about LGBTQ+. I was very close to my music teacher as well, and all three of my music teachers were actually part of the community as well. So it was just nice, and I felt like, it's like they were kind of drumming it in my head, like, this is okay, this is okay. Even though I was in denial, I was learning in school that it doesn't matter, you're still gonna be accepted. And then I felt like maybe as I'd get older, I'd accept my sexuality, which I did. I always felt like, especially being in the music industry, it's always, as a female, you have to be very sexual. And um, I'm a tomboy, I don't really like being very sexual. But then I thought, what does a gay person look like? People call me a dyke all the time. And it's just like, why? This is a letter to my 14-year-old self. Be yourself, be true to you. So when I was in school, I was always doing things to fit in with the group. Like, I wasn't actually bad in school, but then I started hanging around people that were bad, and I started being bad. And then I started hanging around people that used to smoke, so I started to smoke weed, and I started to date boys, just because everyone had a boyfriend, and I felt pressured, and it was peer pressure. I just wanted to fit in with the group, and I wanted to be like everybody else. But it's just about be true to you. If that's not what you're interested in, don't do it. Don't do it to please others. Like, just be you, be free, be who you want to be, not who you think others want you to be. And I just wish I'd done that when I was younger. Grow a thick skin. So I was in a public eye from about, what, maybe 19? So before that, I was so used to just getting love and positive messages from my friends and family that when I got into the public eye, I was constantly getting dragged on social media and people would say some really hurtful things. And it was like, I didn't know how to react to that. So I spent days on end crying. Why don't they like me? Crying, but then I also learned you can't please everybody. You just gotta be you and whoever likes you likes you, whoever doesn't like you, doesn't like you. But I feel like, just grow a thick skin because you know you're gonna get that one person that's gonna say something. Always remain humble. So one thing about me is I'm, I appreciate everything. I get every opportunity that comes my way. I appreciate it all the time. And I just feel like staying humble can take you to places. And people really do connect with you when you are humble. Even if you're in the public eye and they're not in the public eye. If you're still on the same platform, the same human platform, which I like to call it, people love you. So I feel like that's one thing about me. I've always just stayed grounded. Accept your sexuality. Love is love. It doesn't matter who you love. You're still gonna be the same person at the end of the day. People are not gonna hate you. People may judge you, but it's you, it's your life. You can't please everybody in this world. So I feel like just be who you are and don't worry about others. You're loved, you are loved.